My name is Erica Nelson. I am from Florida. I'm married to my husband, Kenny, and we have a total of six children. Him and I have two children together. He has a really good heart, and we had a really good relationship, but to go from nothing to having six children, you know, it was a lot. <laughs> so he kind of like dove into his work, and we weren't having sex, we weren't, um, we weren't even talking, you know? It was all about like the kids and then his work, and that was really it, and I was just kind of, you know, wiping butts from the moment I got up to the moment I went to bed, and that was kind of my life. Good day, I had a bra on. <laughs> it was my dress-up day. I kind of just got lost in that. But I really loved my husband, and I wanted to make it work, so I would try to talk to him, and no matter what I say, it doesn't seem to get through to him. Nothing changes. I even went to him crying the last time, and I said, look, I need more than this, you know, in my life. And I love you enough to tell you this because I don't want to ruin this. And um, he was like, mm. <laughs> Not that he was indifferent. I just think that he thought, meh, you know, we'll get through it. I didn't take it like that. I took it as a slap in the face. Ashley Madison is a website for married people or people that are in a committed relationship that want to have random sex or hookups or whatever. I think that that's an appeal to Ashley Madison. You know that everybody knows that you're married, you know, so there's not that awkwardness. You check your area and we live in a small little community and there's like, you know, hundreds of people on there. And it's, it's easy to kind of mask um, the reality of what you're doing too because you're behind a computer screen. I talked to one guy. We had actually a really, we had like a pretty good friendship um, for a few months and then it got more into like intimate conversations and talks and then let's meet up. He would take me to fancy restaurants, I would get dressed up and I'm thinking wow this would be awesome. I could have like this whole home life and then I can, you know, and be that good parent, be the good mom, then I can have this whole other life of jet setting and, you know, wearing bras and dressing up and wearing makeup and doing your hair, polar opposite of what I had going on at home. And I think that I almost was more attracted to that than anything else. And I would lie and say that I was just going to go to hang out with my friend or I was going to go, you know, visit my parents or whatever, you know, to see him. So I think... I think that even when you know it's wrong, the immediate gratification suffocates what you know is right. So I came home one night and I asked my husband, are you going out of town this week at all? And he said, why? So you can talk to him on the phone, why am I here? And I just said, how did you find out? And then he kind of walked away and I followed him upstairs I didn't know how long he had known. I didn't know what he knew. So all these questions were in my head. And he said, you left up an email. And he said, you know, I came in the office and the email was there from the night before. And I read all of them. And I said, look, you know, I was going to get attention or whatever from somebody else. As, as messed up as that is, that's how I am. And, and I can't, I don't know how to get over that. So I need like your help or I need somebody's help. I said, but I don't want to mess this up between us. I saw how hurt he was, and my husband didn't deserve it, and um, I deleted my account that day. So as I told you,